Hi, my name is Robin Wong and I want to talk about low light photography. A lot of people lose confidence when it comes to extreme low light photography. When the sun sets, it is at night and the light drops and they feel that the camera is not good enough or they just cannot get any good shots. Well, of course it is more challenging, of course it will not be easy, but I strongly believe that photography can be very interesting in low light and especially out at night on the streets. So don't let this be an excuse, just pick up your camera, go out and take some shots. Tip number one your camera is good enough more than good enough a lot of people are very afraid that you know they don't have the full frame camera they don't have the best camera and when they shoot in low light condition the camera cannot perform adequately well here is the good news as long as your camera can power on and the shutter button still works you can take some photographs yeah, some, some cameras will struggle in certain situations, but that does not mean you cannot take good photographs. There is a lot more to what the camera can do, and it is a lot more important for you as a photographer to work around the limitations of a camera and get the shots that you want. Don't give yourself excuses. You may not have the most expensive cameras. You may not have the best capable cameras. Yes, your camera may not be seem like it is enough, but trust me, it still can take some fantastic night photography. You can go out in a low light situation and still grab some good shots. Photography is a lot more than just what the camera can do. It is about you, the photographer, and what you can do with your camera. Tip number two, don't be afraid to use high ISO. I know, I know some people when they see that a little bit of ugly green in the photograph, they'll immediately say no, this is bad photography. Seriously, there is no correlation between high ISO noise and good photography. A good photography or a good photograph is still a good photograph, whether there is high ISO noise or not. A good photography is about the story that you're telling, the idea that you're trying to convey, the emotion that you feel, how you express yourself, and there is just so much more happening in photography than just the technical perfection or the technicalities inside an image. So yes, if you need to boost that high ISO to 6400 or 12800 or impossible numbers and you will see ugly high ISO noise all over the image. But if you can tell a compelling story, if you have that drama, if there's something strong in your content, it will still be an award-winning photograph. Don't be obsessed with clean images. Don't be scared just by looking at that, that tiny little noise. Shoot high ISO, get the story, get that winning photograph. Tip number three, capture motion. Nighttime photography or low light photography is the perfect location for you to employ slow shutter speed to capture any movement and that blur can add a lot of drama and impact into your photograph. It can be some pedestrians walking by the road, it can be cars or vehicles moving around, slowing it down to capture the light trails, it can be any movement. So don't be afraid to go creative, don't be afraid to think outside the box and just go crazy with the camera settings. There is just so much more to explore and so much more to do during night and low light photography.
tip number four, take advantage of the dark tones and work with shadows in the low light environment. Shooting at night or shooting in very dim light, it actually creates the opportunity to work with blacks in your image. A darker tone photograph can convey a different mood and a different feeling when your viewers look at your photographs. Shooting at night can certainly have a certain expression that you can never be able to capture during bright and sunny day during daytime. Therefore, don't be afraid to explore something different and go out into the dark and find the subjects in that kind of environment because there will be stories out there for you to capture. There will be something different for you to find. And all these photographs are unique and a little bit of variety can go a long way. Tip number five, find something unique to shoot in your location. Everywhere in the world, in every city, there will be some special buildings or unique landmarks where they just look different and magnificent at night. Find these locations and look for the right opportunity to shoot them, especially when they light up and they look just beautiful. Also shoot find around the area and look for interesting subjects as well. These are the interesting subjects that will make your photographs special because you come from your location and when you share your photographs with people from other parts of the world, they will find it really interesting. For example, streets of Tokyo in Japan just comes alive at night. It will be different from what you see in the streets of Kuala Lumpur, where I'm currently based in. Embrace the beauty of your location, treasure where you come from, and more importantly, explore it and capture the beauty. I hope you have found these sharings useful. I'm sure it is not what you expected. I didn't ask you to buy a better camera. I didn't ask you to upgrade your lens. Use what you have. Your camera is definitely good enough. Bring it out. Don't be afraid of the dark. Shoot at night. Shoot in low light condition. Challenge yourself. Work with the shadows. Work with the dark tones. Increase your high ISO. Don't be afraid of the noise. And certainly, Go and find something unique to photograph on your location. There will always be something wonderful to explore and the photographs that you get at night will look very different from the photographs that you shoot during the daytime. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to my channel and I will definitely do my best to produce more content and publish it here. Please leave a comment below and let me know what you want to see in my coming videos. Until next time, please go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye.